Hey, welcome back to the studio. This time on our errands list, we are going to be fixing this 3D printer. And that's how I made the rear sprocket to my homemade electric bicycle, is I made eight sections of 300 tooth sprocket, and bolted them all around. And by making my own rear sprocket almost as big as the wheel itself, I can actually build in a 23 to 300 gear reduction ratio on this sprocket, which means I can run this entire electric bike off of just this one stage of reduction. The linear bearings used on this cheap printer are really shit. They break all the time. You can see I've got one field bearing over here. And the way I fix that is I just removed it. I just have the upper stage still has linear bearings on the top, but the bottom linear bearing is, is not actually pairing, it's just zip tied. You can see those linear lines along the rod. That's where the shaft has actually been eaten away by those hardened ball bearings inside the linear bearings. I'm going to start it up and see if it actually works. Even if it does work, it's all of the linear bearings are going to fail in this machine. You might also notice that this is an acrylic 3D printer, which has not had the acrylic revealed. It's got the paper coating still on it. That's because I like to make things look like they are. So I've got a shitty 3D printer. I'm not going to make it look good. And that's totally normal. I'm printing a linear bearing, which is not going to be a great bearing, but it's going to be better than not having bearings, and also a lot better than the broken bearings that are about to occur. So what do you think? The camera's not level, or the 3D printer's not level? I think you can see the issue. Just like a plane. You can see the linear bearing centered there underneath the platform. We're going to have to take a lot of this platform apart to try to get a look at it. So I just remembered the easy way of taking this apart. And see we've got our problematic linear bearing. Yeah, that's, that's chattered straight to heck. So here's the bushing that I just printed. And it slides, but it's got a ton of friction, so that's not going to be better. But this one I printed a while ago. And I remember I had to remount the center, I had to sand it down, or I had to shove it on some threads or something. Yeah, should slide freely on this now. It's gonna just, yeah, okay. It's a little harder. Yeah, that could work. Well, let's put it back in and see if it's any better now. Oh, there's, there's an open knife on this. Contact. Yeah, that looks good. So I've got this 3D print finished, and it seems like it will be a success. So there's no obvious... So there's no obvious places where it skipped over a level. So we have some backup parts to fix when the rest of the linear bearings go. Well, see you again next time.